All right, I just stopped it at the 15 minute mark there. I I was like so on a tangent, I completely forgot that I hadn't even like talked about the other games and like this is just PS1 games. <laughs> and in my mind, I was like, okay, anyway, so yeah. Like I said, uh, cheap game, whatever, weekly sales in PSN store, Dino, Cri Dino Crisis, if you haven't played it. Um, <laughs> I was so thinking I was done with that video, I just made it, but then I realized, oh wait, I don't even have, I only did the PS1 games and not the PSP or PS3. But real quick, I'll just show, if it pops up here, that, uh, yeah, I'm only like level 11 trophy wise, so mm, whatever. If you're one of those, oh, I don't add people that have whatever, whatever, level, trophy, whatever, level, well, there you go, don't add me. Uh, PSP games, Gran Turismo, yeah, these are like the few I have. So, Gran Turismo, bleh, bleh, Gran Turismo, uh, Kills and Liberation. I haven't played this, and then Pursuit Force is interesting, but mm, I don't know. I, I want to play the second one because there's kind of like flaws in the first one. But luckily, I got these two for free with the uh, PSN Welcome Back thing, and this came with the uh, Arkham Asylum. I got PS3 edition, some, it's just like the digital comic, and it has like Joker and Batman, or something, I don't even remember, it's really short, and it just leads into uh, Arkham City, but yeah, whatever. Alright, these are my PS3, PSN games, so, um, Tekken 5 Online, I don't really play that very much anymore, but I have it, so, yeah. Uh, this is actually pretty cool, the Mega 4 database, can you just like go through there and like look up stuff? There's like so much stuff they reference in the game. That's cool. They have like a uh, little codex here of like, who are the Patriots? Or what is the Sons of Patriot system? Or what about these nano machines that Snake has been injected with? Or what is up with his accelerated aging? Or <laughs> it's like basically like a Wikipedia kind of for like uh, Metal Gear Solid. And there's like a ton of entries and stuff. Well, I guess I can load it up right now. Crap, I don't know how long it's going to take. But, um,. Yeah, yeah, I probably shouldn't have did that. Dang it. And now we're stuck at a loading screen. Yes! That was dumb. Okay, so yeah. I'm not even gonna, like, use this. I'm just gonna go back out once I get. Okay, whatever. F it. I'm just gonna go back out right now. Quit the game. Goodbye! <sighs> Yeah, but like for the PSP games, I played a ton of the Granjismo, and then I was angry because when you input all your cars into Granjismo 5, it only lets you use them in uh, arcade mode and not in your career, so that kind of sucked. Because I had bought that like when Granjismo 5 got delayed, and I was like, alright, I'm just going to build up my car library for when 5 comes out and import them all in. No, I could only play them in arcade mode, so they did had, had like no value to me because I only played our career mode and not arcade, so... Hmm. Uh, let's see, Mega Man 9, yeah, this game's hard. <laughs> then again, I guess I'm just not good at Mega Man games, because I've never, I've probably never finished any of them, but I've played all of them, so yeah. It's like, why do I keep coming back for more? Oh, I guess, wow, two Capcom games in a round, I'm about to say, oh, the jerks have canceled Mega Man Legends 3, huh? But yeah, Street Fighter, or Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix, that was a nice, uh, Itch Scratcher before Super Sh or Street Fighter 4 came out. Um, Wipeout HD, I love this game. I really like Wipeout. And it's cool, they have the um, little photo mode in there, and you can like take photos, like this one right here, and then you can you know, like, upload them on your computer, or like, use them as, um, as like a, sc uh, a wallpaper or whatever, so that's pretty cool. And then, what is this? It's like an acquired taste, like, let's see, I'm not sure, yeah, I don't think there's, like, any games on here I'd, like, recommend at, like, no, <laughs> no questions asked so far, because, like, Wipe It Out is, like, like, an acquired taste and probably more hardcore than, like, your average racing game, because it takes a while to get used to, and, like, as the speed goes up in, like, each class, it just gets very ridiculous. Pixel Junk Eden is interesting, but it can get very frustrating, like, to me, I never finished it because I just kept getting angry every time I would fall all the way down and be like, oh, I, or I need to get more of the thingies to get to the next stage, and like, like eh, I just gave up on it. I was like, whatever. Um, I mean, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the music and concept, but eh, just beat me down, man. Kicked me in the face. And I was like, ow, that hurt. I'm going to take your 
for a ride. So yeah, Mario's Capcom 2. I haven't really played this. Like, the only reason I bought it is because you cannot find, like, the rare versions for, like, the, the, the uh, the physical versions, so it's like, and they're ridiculously, bleh, ridiculously priced if you do find them, like you'll go to GameStop and like use copy sells for like, what, 50 bucks, which is ridiculous, so it's like, whatever, I'll just, I like bought on sale for like 15, so like, haha, suck it, gray market people, but yeah, I, I've never been good at the versus games, I just, they're very fun to look at if like someone's awesome playing, but yeah, me, not so much. Uh, wow, my controller is like, Oh my, what the hell, my controller just like, died. I think I have like one bar. Yeah, that's probably why, okay. <laughs> I was like, pushing the button and nothing happened. Barman Ultra, eh, it's Barman. And it has online mode, so that's cool if you ever want to play online with your friends and blow them up with bombs. Though, well I guess I'm not going to say that. <laughs> worms, I've always loved worms, so I had to buy it. It's like on sale, so it's like, yeah, why not? Actually, I guess, hmm. I guess I'd recommend this if you enjoy, like, uh, they're easy and, like, fun to pick up and play, like, local co-op, like, you can play with someone that's sitting next to you, or online, or not co-op, but the local versus or online versus if, like, a friend you want to play with, and just, like, blow them up with stuff, because they're, like, a fun, or <laughs> there's a ton of fun weapons, and, like, stages are interesting, and, like, the worms are funny with the stuff they say. At least it always makes me laugh. I guess I'd also recommend a flag, cause it's just a very, um, interesting experience and like there's very few games like it like for me i just find it very serene and tranquil and relaxing so and just like very different compared to like everything else out there uh you just have to play to like see what i'm talking about trash panic's really interesting it's like a it's kind of like a mix of like tetris but you have it's like it has like elements of tetris in it but you have a bunch of trash that you're trying to like it's like a block stacking breaking and racing game like Tetris but with trash and the, it, like all like all the different types of trash like react differently with each other each other so you try to like break it down and either be like really like earth friendly or non earth friendly. So it's interesting but I can get past like the second stage or something. I I don't know, I got stuck. I never finished it. Uh Gunstar Heroes, I easily remember this game. One of my most favoriteest of all times. So you know, it's like a 2D side scrolling shooter. I have a video up it on my channel. Me and Stubbs are playing, so yeah, definitely check it out if you want to have something fun to play with. But like a uh, like worms, except it's it's co-op, not versus. So it's like you and a friend. You can play online co-op or local co-op. So that's cool. So yeah, I love that game. It never gets old. Uh, ad hoc party. That's not really a game. It's a utility to use like uh PSP online modes but not or something like that i don't know I, I, i've used it very infrequently because like all psp games i have i don't think have like they're not like monster Hunter, it's like you need someone next to you to play or i guess i got that in reverse it's like the psp is local online but it's, it's online that's how it like gets people to play because you have people playing online but they're using the local online modes so yeah that wasn't confusing enough, so yeah. Though I did play Final Fantasy Tactics Line War, the co-op mode, with my friends. is awesome. So if anyone wants to play Final Fantasy Tactics Line War, just make a comment here, and I'd play that like any day of the week, like co-op style. If I could refigure out how to use this, because it's kind of <laughs> confusing. I haven't, or I haven't used it in forever, so I kind of forget, so yeah. Uh, Ragdag Colin... F Ragdoll Kung Fu. I got this game free, so yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. It's, it's weird. I don't know. I, was, I think that's the only reason I got it is because it was free, and then I played it. I was like, eh, whatever. It's just like fighting game, but weird six axis integration. Eh, it's, it's interesting, but yeah. It's not. It's like not. It, it's very similar to uh, Smash Brothers 2, I, I think, because I think it's like four players at the same time, but I, d I don't remember. But I don't know. I'd say it's not really it's worth trying to see if you like it, but eh, wasn't my cup of tea. Mega Man 10. I got this on sale and I haven't even played it, so well, actually I think I did. I th actually think I, I think it was supposed to be easier than nine. But I got less far than nine, so that that was interesting. I was like, wow, I'm sucking more in this one than I was in nine. So yeah, don't know what happened there. You know, I got this for free as well, so hmm, whatever. 
<laughs> I don't, that's all I have to say. It's like <laughs> not something I'd recommend if you're playing a game. I mean, this is just a digital version of a card game, so mm, you know that's basically what it is. You might even be able to like find a deck of Uno cards for cheaper than like the digital version. X Men. This game's awesome, but it's like really short, so it's like you'll play through it really fast and then be like, "Oh man, that was fun." I can't remember how much I paid for it, but whatever. I guess it was worth it since I died so many times that if I was playing the actual arcade game, I would have put so many quarters in that it probably would have cost me more, if not the same price, to buy the game. Or to, like, just pick up... I, mean, I guess it's back to the, the old school version of, like, why console games are awesome. You can just take an arcade version of the... Or the console version of an arcade game home and not to worry about continues and putting quarters in. Just play it all you want and be like, yay! X-Men, go and save the city. Nothing can move the blob. Blah. Oh, yeah, and it has, like, all the cheesy, weird stuff. Prepare to die. Blah. <laughs> free Realms, yeah, this was free. I, I never play it. I played it, like, when it first came out. But then, like, oh, you only get the trophies if you subscribe. So it's like, eh, no thanks. Dead Nation, this was also something I got free with the uh, PlayStation Welcome Back. I played it once. It's all right. It's, like, isometric... Uh, zombie killing game, it's like interesting mechanics. I don't know. I wouldn't recommend it though. It's like, it's all right. Like, it's no left for dead. Or, uh, I'd say Alien Swarm is better than it as well. Just more frantic. This one is more. All the zombies are like very slow. So, I don't know. It is what it is. I got it for free, so yeah. Liquid Planet. I haven't really played enough of this <laughs> to say <laughs> how I feel, but I don't know. I didn't really like the art design. It felt too, like, child child storybook. So I was like, eh, I can't really get into it. So, hmm. And like everybody says, the platform is kind of off, so, hmm. But it was free, so yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, Streets of Rage 2, got this for free. I also have it on the Sonic's Ultimate collection thing though so whatever so I mean Street Rage is awesome if you like beat em ups so hmm. I, I haven't played this I got this when I got my PlayStation Plus but I haven't played the free trial I have or 60 minutes or whatever same with the core I haven't even well what's that in here that's not a game alright I guess that's it for the uh, breakdown of the digital stuff I have on PS3 I'm just gonna go with Wow, I just realized that even though I'm done with the PS3, I have to like go back through and like do it, do it again on the 360 and Wii, but whatever. So yeah, that's that. Um, right now, I don't have any room on my friends list, but after I finish deleting people after I make this, and like I'm gonna make a secondary Master Master account just because I'm sick of like not having any space. That's like the one thing I think Steam has over 360 and PSN is like, oh, there's no limit to our friend list. So yeah. Um, well, I don't know if there's a limit, but I don't know if you know, whatever, whatever. So yeah, feel free to add me, and this has been taken for the whole, oh, let me go run down my digital games and talk about them, and comments, leave them, and I'll comment on them and stuff. So yeah, that's it for this video, that's it for this video, and I'm now signing off.